Hi, welcome to my mini addiction. This is week 44 of my painting vlog. And last weekend we were playing some board games and I was kind of looking at our game collection and I realized that all of the minis from this game were still in the box. I hadn't taken any of them out and started painting on any of them. Of course, I've got a lot of board game minis that are unpainted from a whole bunch of different games, or there's some games I've only painted a few, I haven't finished all of them, but then I, I was like, everything was still in here. So I kinda, I mean, we got this game months ago and I kinda forgot, you know, really how cool the minis are, because I pulled them all out and it's all like Victorian era, you know, stuff. And I mean, they were, I was just like, okay, I've got to paint some, you know, from, if you've been watching my videos from week to week, I am very like sporadic, like all over the place on what I'm painting. I didn't have any immediate needs for, you know, a D and D campaign. And, you know, I didn't really have a direction I was going. So I painted, you know, Victorian London zombies and some killer clowns. So, you know, that was kind of what I did this week. You know, sometimes I, I just am gonna, you know, feel like doing like a batch painting and painting a lot of, you know, similar things. Like, you know, there was, I think there was like 10 of one, you know, type of zombie, which, you know, takes time to paint, you know, each of them. But when I'm using a, like a similar color palette, then I can a little quicker to get, you know, through um, a larger batch of minis. You know, I am, I'm still trying to push towards that, you know, hitting that thousand mark on my uh, painted minis for this year. So I kind of put the priority at uh, painting minis over terrain. I did get started on the next part of my uh, uh, making a fantasy city. If you've been watching, you know, those videos, I started um, working on the watchtower, but I haven't finished it yet. So it's probably gonna be a couple more days before I have that video out, but I wanted to focus more on minis. Plus it was like we had Halloween and then I had a bunch of Artisan Guild resin minis I needed to, you know, assemble. And so, you know, I had a, a few things going on, but minis got painted. We got new minis added and yeah, so that's kind of what went on for week uh, 44. You know, we're pushing towards the end of the year and, you know, I've just looking back at you know what i've done so far this year i'm like so stoked over you know what i've accomplished and um you know i think this week i'm going to continue working on this game just because there are a lot of really cool unique minis for it and you know once they're all painted it just makes playing the game so much funner when you know everything is complete um so Anyway, I think that's kind of all I'm going to say for this week. So let's take a look at some minis and some clowns from, uh, you know, the Rise of Moloch game and then um, all the Artisan Guild uh, resin stuff we printed off this week. And I'll see you next time. 